So, I'm going to talk less and we're going to play through th some guitars. Somebody asked me the tonal difference between like a Rickenbacker and a Telecaster. And it occurred to me that maybe we should do a video of just playing some $2,000 guitars. All of these guitars are about two grand. This is a 51 reissue. This is a Paul Reed Smith and um, this is one of the Silver Skies. This is about 2700 bucks. The Rickenbacker is about $2,000. This is a used 335 for $2,500. This is a uh, reissue vintage 1966 Jazzmaster. That's about 26. These are all about the same thing. I'm not going to concern myself about how I play. I'm just going to play something simple, the same one. We're going to go through all the guitars. Uh, we are playing through a Princeton reverb amplifier. Uh, and this is a very exacting copy, hand-wired Princeton reverb. I've got it set to about two and a half. Ah, let's dip it to three. And when I have lower volumes, I always take and push the tone controls up. And then, of course, as you bring your volume up on any amplifier, you should probably roll back the bass. On that, I'll shut up. Telecaster. <laughs> out of that Jazzmaster and a little more treble out of that Telecaster and um, here's a 335. <laughs> the same and what you heard there is the drive that a Gibson will do and it tends to uh, distort the amp a lot quicker. Rickenbackers tend to be a lot lighter than all of them provided you can plug them in. Tell you what I hear, Rickenbackers tend to be lower in volume. Compared to any other guitar, it's going to seem like, well, where'd all the power go? But they tend to cut through. Gibsons tend to be a little more impact. You'll hear the amp distort quicker. Um, Jazzmasters have a wider bass, and they tend to have more bass response. Telecasters, of course, by their design with that um, 
bridge the way it sits, that all metal wrapped around a te uh, tele pickup, they tend to have a little more click twang, if you will. We all know this. And then uh, the Silver Sky is really a great sounding Stratocaster. I mean, one of the best sounding Stratocasters uh, designs out there. And there you go. On that, we're going to let you go, and you go play this back again and listen for yourself, okay? <laughs>